welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have my sixth update for the 50 Shades of Purple Project Pan. This is a year-long Fantastic Ladies collab that was created by Jessica Lee, Amanda D, and Cece and you pan 50 purple products. Name, shade, packaging, however you can relate your product to the color purple, you can bring it in this project. So I had Seriously? Why? So I had 36 products left before this update. I finished four of them, so now I'm down to 32, which for the six month mark isn't exactly where I wanna be. I need to step it up a little bit, but. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So I like to start with my empties just to get them out of the way. The first two I don't have to show you because I do this all the time, even though I tell myself to remember, but I film my empties video and I have project pan empties and there's always one that gets tossed before I can actually update you on it. So if you saw my last empties video, you will already know that I finished the two remaining hand sanitizers that were in this project. The blood orange one I used four more times to finish because there was barely anything left. I used that one a total of 71 times. And then the Venus hand sanitizer, which I still am not quite sure what the scent was, but it did smell good. I used that 14 more times and I used it 64 times to finish it. So those were my first two empties. And then I did manage, I used it two more times. I managed to finish up my CVS bath salts that I used as a foot soak. So I used these a total of 14 times. And well, I mean, you can see where the mark is where I started. So it wasn't quite full, but it was pretty full when I rolled it in. And then the last item, I actually, it looks like there's some left in here, but I, I cannot get any of it out, even like tipping it over and trying to drain it onto a paper towel. But it is this little Cascade polish in the shade Loyalty and Resilience, and that is done. I actually have it on my nails as a topper. My daughter has it on her nails because... <laughs> just I, I was so close I was like I have one more use on this and I was putting an extra layer on my nails and she she likes to have her nails painted like mommy so I did her nails too so there were five more uses left in this for 10 uses in this little bottle and now that is one more mini nail polish that is out of my collection so I'm, I'm really happy about that I don't know what is going on with my hair it's just it's time for a cut I think it's getting a bit it's getting a bit unruly but anyway you're not here to hear me chat about my hair you're here to hear about the rest of my products that are in this project so there there are a few that I have not even started yet one is my fig and chestnut candle because I feel like that's that's more of a winter scent so I'm not worried about that once it like November, December time, then I'll start burning that. And then my fig and honey body wash, which again, that's more of a winter scent. So I'm waiting until I finish up the other body wash that's in this project before I crack that one open. And then there's a few, there's like maybe a couple lip products, a couple nail polishes that I haven't touched this past month. So I'm not going to show you those, but for the most part, I did use almost all of my remaining products at least once. So first, the other body wash I have, my Ulta Beauty Fall Leaves body wash. I used it seven more times for a total of 12 times in the project. And you can see I'm right here. So this will be done next update. Um, then my Andalou Naturals lotion. I am all the way down here. So you can see after I finished my Pacifica SPF and I've been using this every day, it's going down a lot quickly, but I, a lot quickly, a lot quicker, but I still think there's potential that this could be done by next update, but 
like I said before, these are, de these like last a deceptively long time. So it's possible that it'll take two more months for this to finish up, but this will be done by the end of the year. Then I did actually remember to use my Good Molecules eye patches. I used them three times this past month. So I've used a total of 20 pairs, which means I only have 10 left. And I mean, they're not going to be done by next month, but I think by the end of the year, that'll be my goal is to have these done by the, by the December update. Well, that's two months, so five a month. I think I can do that. My Pacifica French Lilac Perfume, which even though you can't smell it, I am wearing it today. It is a very lovely scent, more spring appropriate, but I've got a, I've got it in this project and it's not gonna be spring for, for a long time. And my goal is 50 uses. And so far, including my usage list last month, I have 10, so. If I wait until spring, I'm not gonna hit my goal on it. So I do, I don't really care about wearing scents for seasons that much though. So I'm fine with it. Cause really I'm only working on one perfume right now that could be called like a fall winter scent. Everything else is a spring summer scent and I need to rotate through my perfumes if I want to make progress on them in my project. So some, some days are more springy than others in in my house, but then I have my CoverGirl Simply Ageless 3-in-1 Foundation, which is so old, all the writing is coming off. I use this four more times for a total of 41 times because now that it's getting to be fall, I'm losing my tan. This is it's getting to be a better shade match for me, but I mean, I, it only moved like the teeniest, tiniest little bit. I'm I'm still holding out hope that I can finish this by the end of the project, but I obviously need to use it more than four times a month for that to happen. My, my good old Glamour Dolls bronzer that still looks exactly the same no matter how many times I use it. I did, I only used it three times this past month for a total of 38 times and my goal is 50 or pan. At this point I'm gonna hit the 12 more uses and I'm sure I won't have pan in it. So because I'm working on other bronzers, I might have to put this one to the side once I hit my 50 and just try to hit pan on it at a later time in another project. But this one I've been pretty consistent with. I only need 12 more uses on that. Then I have my Becca highlighter in Lilac Geode. I used this two more times for a total of 17 times again. My goal is 50 or pan. I, of course the light is, but you can kind of see where I've been dipping my brushes. I wouldn't really call it much of a dip per se, but it's definitely like the little, the gemstone pattern is worn off in that one spot. So, okay, okay. The sun, whoa, went behind a cloud. So we're gonna have to deal with the ring light. Okay, and then my Island Time palette, which I have been still seriously neglecting. I'm gonna have to wear this palette like three times a week, three or four times a week to actually hit my goals which means that I have not been reaching for it enough. So it doesn't really look any different because I've only used some of the shades a couple times this past month. Mai Tai I have not used at all this past month. That has a total of four uses out of 25. Punch I used two times, so it has a total of eight uses out of 25. Cosmo I used once, so it's got 10 out of 25 uses. Bellini I've used twice, so it has 10 out of 25 uses, and Bali I've used three times, so it has 20 out of 50 uses. So yeah, I need to step it up with this one. I'm just, I'm working on too much blush, I think. <laughs> I'm working on too much everything, I think, but I don't know, for some reason this is the palette that I have the hardest time reaching for, even though it's a beautiful palette, and even though I don't support Ofra anymore, I mean, I'm still going to use my products, I'm just... I just kind of like, I guess, glaze, gloss over it when I'm going to pick out what I'm wearing for the day. So I don't know. 
Um, then I have my Tarte Stay Spray, which I've used 21 more times for a total of 55 times. This, how much is in here? This is four ounces. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the mister is much more fine than the all nighter that I was working on earlier in this project, but they're like the same size setting spray, but I feel like this one is moving a lot slower than the all nighter was. But here's the thing. I know, I don't know if it was my last update or the update before. I said I was liking this a lot and it was comparable for me for the all nighter. But now that the weather is changing and my skin is changing, that's not true. This isn't as good as I thought it was for my like autumn skin. So, I mean, I'm going to finish using it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Because if I can't use it all year round, I mean, I don't want to have to buy setting sprays for different times of the year. I just want to be able to pick out a setting spray no matter what time of year and use it and it'll work just like it would in the summer or the winter or the spring or the fall. And so far this has not been doing it. So probably won't repurchase that. But I would guess I probably still have like half of a bottle left of this actually. Can I see? Oh yeah, I've still got easily half a bottle left. So this will be sticking around probably. I think I'll, it'll be gone by, I don't know if it'll be gone by the December update since these are on the 15th of the month, but it'll. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say by the January update, this will be done. Then, so now my lip products, the first two that are on my list I didn't use this month, so I'm not gonna show you those. This Sonia Kashuk Gloss and Polished Plum I used one more time for a total of 13 out of 50. I need, <laughs> I need to work on my lip products more. I'm, I'm trying to work on like actually layering things, but I just, I, it doesn't come naturally to me like it might to some people. So I have to remember to be like, okay, I can wear this on top of this because this is like a matte lipstick or this is a liquid lipstick and I can have a gloss or whatever on top of it. But sometimes I just don't think about it. So that's why most of my lip products don't have much use on them because I pretty much use like one lip product a day and that's it. That's why lip products are probably the slowest moving for me out of anything else that I pan. Uh, my Ulta Beauty Plum Gloss, which is also 50 uses. I only used one time for a total of 12. My Maybelline Plum Paradise, which my goal is to use half of this. I've only used it one more time for a total of 11. I could not make a new mark on my paper because I only used it one time. It's a very pretty shade. I just, it's, it's much warmer. The Here's the problem with this, which I wasn't really, I mean, I, I had a hard time picking 50 products that weren't all eyeshadows. So I was kind of limited in the lipsticks that I could bring in. But this is the problem that I didn't really think about when I was picking this lipstick out among my eyeshadows is the eyeshadows that I put in this project are very cool toned. And this is a very warm, pinky reddish purple and it does not really go with the purples that I put in this project as far as eyeshadows and I just I between this project and the eyeshadows I have in the other projects not a lot of my looks really lend themselves to the shade of lipstick very often so that's why I kind of I haven't been using it as much um. I have this little, the, my little lip gloss sample that will not die. This little Sparklies glitter and gloss sample. I used it four more times for a total of 18 times. And as I always say, I have no idea how much more is in here because I can't see anything. But there's still product coming out on the little doe foot. So there's still stuff in there. Then this Copacetic Cosmetics Gloss in Influence, I've used one more time for a total of nine times. 
obviously not gonna make a new mark, only using it one time. Sorry, I'm trying to, I, oh, I always do this. I, I love my background, I really do. I mean, this is my, this is a total tangent, but whatever. This is like not just my filming area. I mean, this is my office where I work. I spend a lot of time in here. I like having my yarn here, but good God, <laughs> I'm always trying to block the reflection of the ring light with my head. And I'm sorry that you probably just see see it all the time because I keep moving my head and I keep forgetting to try to block it, but I haven't figured out a good way to get around that yet. Besides, you know, maybe trying to sit up a little bit straighter. So maybe I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Anyway, as I was saying, I only use this one more time for a total of nine times and my goal is to finish it. I mean, at this point, these glosses are going to be in my collection until the end of days because even though they're tiny, I just don't remember to use them. <laughs> so there's that. Then I have my... So that was the last lip product. We're moving into eye products now. I have my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Amethyst. This is how much is left. I used it three times. I've used it a total of 29 times so far. I was actually... It's the ittiest, bittiest baby mark, but I was actually able to make a new mark. That, that little blue line is my new mark for that one. Then I have my Notoriously Morbid Pigment in Pomegranate Seeds. You can see the color there. I've used this 13 more times. My coal is 50. I need to step it up with all of this stuff. This is my Loose Glitter from Sparkly's Glitter and Gloss in Croesus the Purger. I've used this one more time for a total of 16 times. My Amethyst Prism Shadow from Enchanted Luster. I did not use it all this past month. Then I took it out to weigh it and take pictures. And I, I really think I'm close to hitting pan on this. This is Wisteria from Makeup Geek. I've used it three more times for a total of 26 times. I think it's it's harder to see because it's in this this little quad and the lighting just kind of reflects off of the shadow but there is a pretty decent dip in there and I think if I just if I make it a point to focus on this shade more this month even I don't know five times will do it but if I just keep working at it I will hit pan and I'm going to try to do that for this next up update. And I'm gonna try to do that for this next update. Then my NYX eyeliner in Purple Blaze. I've used this five times for a total of 42 times. And this one also made some movement. There's the green line over there is where it's at now. So pretty like, it's slow progress, but pretty consistent progress every month. I, I definitely will not be finishing this, but I do, I do have an idea in my head to use this as maybe a base for, to pair like with the glitter all over my eye. I don't know. I'm, I'm formulating, I'm formulating a look with this. One to I mean, use it up a little faster, but to really, I need to figure out ways to use, more ways to use this glitter. I don't know, just, just experimenting, just spitballing, throwing ideas out into the ether, seeing what sticks. And then out of the now four remaining nail polishes, because I finished that Cascade Polish one, I only used two of the other ones this past month. So the first is this little one from Julep in the shade Dolores. I only used it one time. It's hard. I did make a mark. It's kind of hard to see because it's all discolored, but where it's discolored is where my mark is. So I've used this a total of seven times. This is a really like, this is a really opaque polish. It's pretty much a one coater. So I don't use a lot of it when I do use it because I only need one coat with it. And then this next one is again from Cascade Polish in the shade Cornucopia. And I use this one one more time for a total of three times. 
and there you can see my mark let's see you can kind of see where the fill line is so i'm not quite sure i'm gonna focus on either one or both of these for the next update this one i need to use more of because it is more of a sheer formula so i usually use between two and three coats every time i use this depending on how thick they are so i think this one will be faster to finish up but i'm gonna try to work on both of them but anyway that was my wow october Jeez. i know what time of the year it is and i am aware of the passage of time anyway that was my october 50 shades of purple update as I start hitting more goals, these videos are slowly, ever so slowly, getting a little bit shorter. Maybe by the end of the project, my video update will only be like eight or eight or nine minutes. Wouldn't that be nice? But let's see, before I go, I should reiterate some goals. So this is going to be done. No two doubts in my mind. I don't care what I have to do that's going to be done. Um, what else? I keep saying every month that I want to focus on this and have it be done and then it never is, but we're going to keep that as a goal for like the fourth month running. I'm going to try to finish that one up and hit pan in Wisteria. And I would like to have one of these two finished up. I don't think I will have both finished up because even though I stopped updating for the monochromatic project, the monochromatic gear project pan, which I was doing on Instagram, I'm doing that nail polishes only. So I'm still doing the project personally. I just don't take pictures or post about it or update it in any way, shape or form. So I like to alternate project polishes with the color of the month for that project so I don't think I can finish both of these because I think I would have to especially given how opaque this julep one is and how many times I would probably have to use it to finish it up I don't know that it's possible for me to finish both of these up without exclusively focusing on them and I don't like to do that because I I get bored very easily so I think I'm going to try the, the cornucopia one and then once that is done we'll see the other two polishes in this project I don't think are quite as near to being possibly finished as these are so these are the ones that I want to focus on but I do want to try to use the other ones at least once because we do even though we still have six months we only have six months and I have polishes in other projects and I just kind of spinning my wheels on some of these things and I just need to start doing them and now now I'm finally finally done so that was my update for 50 shades of purple I will leave like I said everything linked down below so you can go check out the master list and go catch up on other people's updates on their channels or on their Instagram but I hope you are having a great day or night wherever you are you're staying safe and sane and healthy and I'll talk to you in the next one bye